welcome to the session. In this session, we'll discuss rated mean, mean of combined distributions, and collected mean. First of all, let us discuss rated mean. Now, the rated mean is similar to an arithmetic mean, where instead of each of the data points contributing equally to final average, some data points contribute more than the others. Now, in simple arithmetic mean, each item has equal importance or weights. Now let us discuss one example for the arithmetic mean. Now the marks of a student in four subjects are 40, 60, 70 and 72. Therefore, the mean is equal to 40 plus 60 plus 70 plus 72 whole upon 4. That is mean is equal to the sum of the observations over number of observations which is equal to 242 over 4 which is equal to 60.5. So here, in simple arithmetic mean, all the subjects have equal importance, that is, they are given equal weights. And if in case they are not of equal significance, then weights are assigned to them according to their importance, and weighted arithmetic mean is used as an average and the mean so obtained is called the weighted mean. Therefore, we can write that the weighted arithmetic mean is used when The values differ in their significance or importance. Now let us discuss an example and that is if in a factory five dollars $15 and $20 are the wages, then the average wage is equal to 5 plus 10 plus 15 plus 20 all from 4 which is equal to 50 by 4 which is equal to 12.5 so in this case, different wages are considered to be of equal importance. Now in this case, if the number of wage earners are equal in all the cases, then it is justified otherwise not. That is, let us say, if five workers are earning five dollars, and then five workers are earning ten dollars, and similarly, five workers are earning fifteen dollars, and five workers are earning twenty dollars. That is, different wages are considered to be of equal importance. So here we are taking the simple arithmetic mean. And now let us suppose. So here. The wages are given to us in dollars, that is 5, 10, 15 and 20 and the corresponding number of wage earners are 6, 8, 10 and 5. 
That is, six workers are earning five dollars, eight workers are earning ten dollars, ten workers are earning fifteen dollars, and five workers are earning twenty dollars. Now here, the number of wage earners for each wage is different. Therefore, the weighted arithmetic mean of the wages is calculated as 5 into 6 plus 10 into 8 plus 15 into 10 plus 20 into 5 whole upon 6 plus 8 plus 10 plus 5 which is equal to 360 by 29 which is equal to 12.41 dollars. So we have got the weighted arithmetic mean as 12.41 dollars. Therefore we can say that we use weighted arithmetic mean when the values differ in their importance or significance. Now if x1, x2, x3 and so on up to xn denote any values of a variable x and w1, w2, w3 and so on up to w1 denotes respectively their weights then the weighted mean xw bar is given as w1x1 plus w2x2 plus so on up to w1xn whole upon W1 plus W2 plus so on up to Wn which is equal to summation Wi Xi where I varies from 1 to N all upon summation Wi where I varies from 1 to N or XW bar that is the weighted mean is equal to summation Wx over summation W. So this is the formula for calculating the weighted mean. Now let us discuss the mean of the combined distributions. When two sets of scores have been combined into a single distribution, then the mean of the combined distribution is the weighted mean of the means of the components, the weights being the total frequencies in those components. Or in other words, x bar is equal to n1 x1 bar plus n2 x2 bar all upon n1 plus n2. Where x bar is the mean of the combined distribution x1 bar and x2 bar are the means of the component distributions N1 and N2 are the total frequencies of the component distributions. Now let us start with its proof. 
Now x1 bar is equal to summation x over n1 and x2 bar is equal to summation y over n2. Now this implies summation x is equal to n1 into x1 bar and this implies summation y is equal to n2 into x2 bar. Now by definition we have x bar is equal to summation x plus summation y whole upon n1 plus n2 which is equal to now putting the values from here this will be n1 into x1 bar plus n2 into x2 bar whole upon n1 plus n2. Now in this formula the combined distribution consists of two component parts. Now this formula may be extended to any number of distributions. Now if the combined distribution consists of two component parts then x bar is equal to n1 into x1 bar plus n2 into x2 bar plus n3 into x3 bar whole upon n1 plus n2 plus n3. And in general for two distributions x bar will be equal to n1 into x1 bar plus n2 into x2 bar plus so on up to nk into xk bar all of them n1 plus n2 plus so on up to nk. This implies x bar is equal to summation ni into xi bar where i varies from 1 to k all of them summation ni where i varies from 1 to k. Now let us discuss one example. That is, if the average salary of 80 workers was $600 and that of 20 workers was $400, find the mean wage of total number of workers. Now let us start with its solution. Now let x1 bar that is the average salary of 80 workers is equal to $600 and x2 bar that is the average salary of 20 workers is equal to $400. Therefore we have n1 is equal to 80 and n2 is equal to 20. Therefore the average wage of total number of workers that is x bar is equal to n1 into x1 bar plus n2 into x2 bar whole upon n1 plus n2 which implies x bar is equal to 80 into 600 plus 20 into 400 whole upon 80 plus 20. And on solving, this implies x bar is equal to 56,000 over 100, which is equal to $560. Therefore, the mean wage of total number of workers is $560. Now, let us discuss the concept of corrected mean. Due to mistake in copying, certain items are wrongly taken in finding the arithmetic mean. In such cases, we can calculate the new corrected arithmetic mean by the procedure, which we will discuss now. Now in the first step, multiply the incorrect arithmetic mean, say x1 bar, and this is the incorrect arithmetic mean. Which is equal to summation x over n. So we will multiply this arithmetic mean by n. So this implies n into x1 bar 
is equal to summation x. Therefore, we will get the incorrect summation of x as one item was wrongly considered. Now in the second step, subtract the wrongly copied item from the incorrect summation of x. Now in the third step, we will obtain the correct summation of x and the correct summation of x will be obtained by adding the correct item to the value which we are obtaining in step 2. That is, the correct summation of x will be equal to the incorrect summation of x minus the incorrect item plus the correct item. So in this way, in the step 3 we will obtain the correct sum of observations. Now in the last step we can find the correct arithmetic mean that is x bar which will be equal to the correct summation of x which we are obtaining in step 3 over the number of observations that is m. Now let us discuss one example. In this, the mean of 15 observations was found to be 75, but later it was discovered that 13 was miscopied as 31. Find the correct mean. Now in the question, the incorrect arithmetic mean is 75, that is incorrect x bar is equal to 75 and the number of observations is 15. Therefore, incorrect x bar is equal to summation x which is incorrect over the number of observations which further implies summation x incorrect is equal to n into x bar that is n into the incorrect arithmetic mean which is equal to 15 into 75 which is equal to 1125. Now summation x is incorrect as 13 was miscopied as 31. Now we can find the correct sum of observations that is the correct summation of x by using this formula which is equal to the summation x incorrect minus the incorrect item plus the correct item. Now here 13 was miscopied as 31. This means 31 is the incorrect item and 13 is the correct item. So this is equal to incorrect summation x which is 1125 minus 31 plus 13 which is equal to 1107. Therefore, the correct mean is equal to the correct sum of observations that is 1107 over the number of observations that is 15 which is equal to 73.8. So in this way we can find the corrected mean. So in this session we have learnt about weighted mean, mean of combined distributions and corrected mean. So this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.